Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Wednesday, the 10th of April. I'm James Spann. Today should be the warmest day so far this year for much of the state. Could see a few showers Friday, then a stormy weekend ahead with severe weather potential. A lot to talk about, so let's dive in. The trough that brought the showers and thunderstorms for the past couple of days is now east of the state. We have sinking air, subsidence, so today should be a sunny day. Starting off the day in the 50s, the high today up in the mid-80s in many spots. Summer fans will love it. On the watch warning map, first off here, we have a dense fog advisory for parts of central and east Alabama that will dissipate by mid-morning. And boy, this thing looks like a Christmas tree up north and out west. Blizzard warnings from northeastern Colorado into parts of southwest Minnesota. Much of western Nebraska, much of South Dakota, with a big snowstorm coming up here in mid-April. And in the warm sector, there could be a few severe storms today and tonight south of the snow zone. For parts of Kansas and Nebraska, there's an enhanced risk of severe weather there. And then tomorrow, a chance of severe storms over parts of Illinois and Indiana. And we stay dry tomorrow. And then on Friday... You note the uh, green over the northern half of the state. There could be some thunder. The trailing front comes through here, but hardly any upper support. So Friday we'll have a chance of showers, maybe a thunderstorm, nothing severe expected. We note that marginal risk of severe storms back to the west over Texas with the new system. Now, this is day four. This is Saturday. And keep in mind, this outlook runs through 7 a.m. Sunday. We have a, an enhanced risk of severe weather over North Louisiana, over to near Jackson, Mississippi. And then in Alabama, we have a severe weather risk for about the western half of the state. And this would be for late Saturday night. And then after 7 a.m. Sunday, the severe weather risk is for central and east Alabama. And we'll talk much more about this threat as we go along. There's the uh, rain, the precipitation for the next seven days. Pretty big numbers down here in the deep south, especially over the Mississippi Delta. In Alabama, rain amounts between 2 and 3 inches for the north, 1 to 2 inches for the south. So, model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS, the 06C run, 1 o'clock this afternoon. Big trough in the western states. That'll set up that blizzard for the northern states. The surface low develops east of Denver. But for us, sunny and very warm with mid-80s. Tomorrow, the surface low is near Omaha, north of that thing. Snow, a lot of snow, a lot of wind. But again, for us, we are dry tomorrow and warm. Again, highs 82 to 85, the sky partly sunny. Here's the snow output, by the way. This is coming from the uh, National Digital Forecast Database. And uh, there could be some folks with over 20 inches over parts of South Dakota in Minnesota. The winter that never ends. I mean, that's a whopper of a snowstorm there. Now, let's go to Friday. The surface low is... Uh, Northeast of Minneapolis, St. Paul, with a trailing front coming down through here. We don't expect any severe weather, but yes, on Friday, we'll have a chance of showers, maybe some thunder, but it's not going to rain all day. Saturday. All right, getting a little better clarity here. We got a deep surface low forming over Texas with our next system. A warm front, uh, that, that surface front coming in here Friday, will be moving north as a warm front Friday night and Saturday morning. And it sure looks like, at this point, a decent chunk of the day Saturday will be dry. We can't promise the whole day is going to be dry, but the warm front pushes the big rain mass up into Tennessee Saturday morning. Saturday, the sky becoming partly sunny. It should be warm with highs in the low to mid-80s. And there could be a few scattered afternoon showers and maybe some thunder, but we don't expect any severe weather. But again, the latest guidance suggesting a decent part of the day Saturday could be dry. This is Saturday night just after midnight. The surface low near Little Rock. Severe weather in progress over Mississippi, creeping into Alabama. It's 7 o'clock. Showers and thunderstorms likely over the western two-thirds of the state. The storms could be severe. Sunday afternoon at 1. Showers and storms shifting into east Alabama. Just for the fun of it, let's check the European model. This is 7 a.m. Sunday. It's got severe storms into west Alabama. 1 o'clock Sunday afternoon. 
Severe storms possible over central and east Alabama. It's a little slower than the GFS. So, uh, by the way, this is the instability Sunday at 1 o'clock. And uh, it's got one little spot where the instability ramps up to almost 2,800 joules per kilogram up around Coleman. So, clearly, late Saturday night and Palm Sunday, we got a chance of strong to severe storms across the state. It, it's still a little early to be specific on the timing here. This is Wednesday. The event is over the weekend. But it looks like. A lot of this severe weather will come from midnight Saturday night until 3 o'clock Sunday afternoon. Of course, initially on the western side, then slowly shifting to the eastern side. Still a lot of questions about the mesoscale features we can't answer now, but uh, obviously everybody will be need to will need to be weather aware this weekend. And again, churches will need to think about their plan uh, since a lot of folks will be in church on Palm Sunday morning. Monday, the features on by the sky will be sunny, cooler. The high will be around 70. Tuesday, will probably drop down in the 40s to start the day, the high in the upper 70s. And a week from today, here comes our next system to the west. This is Wednesday, the 17th, and uh, we might see some showers and thunderstorms creeping in here. And uh, the next day, Thursday, the 18th, again, that's a severe weather look with a surface low that's north of Memphis. So it uh, looks like that could be a severe weather issue in about eight days, and then on Friday the 19th, very deep trough over the east, and uh, the system is on by, but there could be some wraparound moisture. The numbers coming off the GFS Ensemble, clearly today the warmest day with 86. That's my might be a little too warm. Tuscaloosa will probably see that today. And then for next week, uh, highs mostly in the 70s and a couple of mornings with 40s, possibly early in the week. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking. What can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clogged line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just to click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing.